Hi everybody. Uh, this is uh, Nexus Jupiter incident. I wish there was a sandbox where you know, like something like uh, Astrox Imperium, where it in, it took all of the mechanics from this game and incorporated it into that game. I just I would love it because believe it or not, this is one of the best games created. But it was it's primarily. Uh, you know, it's campaign based and it's too bad there isn't a sandbox where you go out and you build your fleets and you know, all this other stuff and it's just, it's such a fantastic game and there's so much you could do with it but it's just unfortunate now I'm not going to speak all that much, it's like 5.30 a.m. in the morning and I'm I went and had a nap, woke up at 1.30 and I'm not feeling good so but I'm kind of bored now I am going to go with beginner because I want to relearn the game. This game has quite a bit to it so I'm just gonna type YouTube but like I said I'm not gonna speak much. Marcus Cromwell, Captain's Log 0309 2111 We have left Earth Sector Our destination is Jupiter We face a journey of almost eight months on the way, we're picking up two Space Tech cargo ships. They're waiting in orbit around the moon. I have been assigned as the leader of the convoy. 0509-2111. The two cargo ships have joined us. Their crews are minimal, but the two captains could talk the rivets out of a bulkhead. It's going to be a long eight months. Fortunately, the Stiletto's 12th sister ship, the ISF Hawking, will be joining us. It's sailing under the ISA flag, but the captain, Francis DeLorean, is an old friend of mine. 0712-2111. I joined the firm three years ago. So much has happened since then. The Mars quarantine, the Ceres crisis. I wonder if this mission will be remembered as the Jupiter incident. Twenty three twelve twenty one eleven. Like an early Christmas gift, the Hawking finally arrived, two days behind schedule. Francis hasn't changed. It's good to see the old man again. O four oh two twenty one twelve. It seems I was tempting fate. This mission may yet be known as the Jupiter incident. Space Tech spy satellites are broadcasting some alarming pictures. The Kasaki Syndicate's recent activities have generated a lot of attention. I suspect it's no accident that Francis is on his way there. It's reassuring to have the ISA on our side. O103-2112. The final briefing has arrived. Mission template, reconnaissance, espionage. The Kasaki Syndicate's technological prowess has the mega corporations running scared. According to our intelligence, the source of their revolutionary advances is the Shokenja research station in Jupiter sector. Our task is going to involve surveillance of the station. It may even extend to sabotage or a hostile incursion, if those are our orders. Every corporation in existence would love to pry into the syndicate's research data. The situation is tense. A confrontation is almost inevitable. 2004-2112. We have arrived at Jupiter Sector and will soon reach Europa. The convoy is heading towards the twin stations Sunflower and Michelangelo. We're receiving a code red from the base. It entails the highest level of corporate security measures. Michelangelo Station hailing convoy TTC 24-7. You have reached the arrival zone. Welcome to Jupiter Sector. Thank you, Michelangelo. Convoy dismissed. 
I'm handing the ships over to you. I can't believe I'm speaking with the Captain Cromwell. They're all talking about you back at the station, sir. It's not often we get celebrities out here. Did you have a pleasant flight? Pleasant? That's not the word I'd use. The most exciting thing to happen in eight months was the toilet backing up. Yeah, really. Okay, the spaceships and objects under the player's command are listed to the left. Stiletto. Okay. All the objects the player cannot control are listed on the right. So we got the snail, we've got the whale, we got the hauler, aerospace, dangerous, we've got the weapon platforms. Okay. Alright, you can read information about the selected hostile or neutral object on top. I have transmitted the coordinates to each of the ships. Please stand by in the designated navigation area. Stay clear of the asteroids. We're on a level two alert. Minefields are active. I repeat, minefields are active. Michelangelo, we've got a code red. Yes, Captain, I know. We had an accident a few days ago that left four people dead, so the check-in protocols have been stepped up. The Sunflower is ready to receive you. Camera focus. If you left, left click on any except for small ships in the target list on the right, the camera turns that direction. Gotcha. Alright. There's my ship. Alright, if you left click. Follow-up camera, double-clicking any object makes the camera jump to it and follow it. However, this camera can only be linked to already explored objects. If you double-click on an enemy program screen, the camera is released. Zoom. With respect to wheel mouse, yeah, there you go. Camera rotation, hold the right mouse button, yeah, I already figured that out. It's pretty much a standard. Talking to Stiletto. We're leaving the convoy and continuing our voyage to the ISA base. It's been a pleasure traveling with you, Marcus. Dog with us next time you're in the neighborhood. I'll be more than happy to give you a rematch. Maybe by then you'll have exhausted the last of your lucky streak. I might just take you up on that, Francis. Don't get your hopes up about the rematch, though. Stratagos is all about strength of tactics. Luck doesn't come into it. <laughs> we shall see, Captain. Until next time, Hawking out. Goodbye, Hawking. Well, to Stiletto. Thanks for the escort, Captain. Traveling with you was truly an honor. May our paths cross again soon. Stiletto, approach the designated nav point. Uh, there's some commands that can be issued to the ship can be found at the bottom of the screen. To issue a command, choose your ship, then click the command, then right-click the target. Now approach the navigation point, which is where exactly? Uh, is it the green? No. Where's the navigation? Some commands can only target hostile or friendly units. Okay, that's pretty much. All right, I suspect the green is it. Name, dangerous distance, stiletto. Okay, I suspect the green. Approach. Yes, sir. shoot the breeze over a couple of drinks. Maybe this time you'll stay sober enough to hold a conversation. Damn it, Frank, not over the radio. Or shall we discuss the time you challenged that lieutenant to a drinking contest and wound up stripping down to your luminescent frog shorts? 
Okay, okay. We'll talk about it face to face. Snail out. Okay, I pause it for a second to make sure I am uh, uh, recording. <laughs> I love the way this game handles uh, the physics. It's using thrusters and everything else. I mean, I just love the way this game plays. I mean, space is not treated as, you know, flying through some atmosphere. It's, uh, it's very well done. Very, very well done. And we really don't get to see that too much in our space uh, games, really. You know, you can see the thrusters are firing here. It's just wonderful. But devs these days, they, they don't seem to care about their games all that much anymore. They, they seem more to throw out a game as quick as possible and, treat it, and try to copycat a lot. Uh, you know, like EA does, which is they bring out a, a new game, you know, based on the same engine every year. I mean, it's a copycat job, right? And Or a copy and paste job. And I don't, you know, I'm getting sick and tired of that. There was at one point a sandbox mode that was going to be created for this by a modder. But like most modders, they lose interest because new games are out there sort of thing, right? We're always taken by the new shiny object that appears on the horizon. So. I wonder if I could save. Yes, I can. Good. here. Dumber. Come on, Mike. You know better than that. Okay, I'm just going to pause it for a second. I'll be right back. Sir, the Sunflower fighters have arrived. Sunflower patrol calling Stiletto. Do you read us? Please confirm. Encoding OK. We are receiving your patrol. Attention Stiletto. The minefield protecting the Sunflower is active. We are escorting you in. Copy that Stiletto. Copy that patrol. You can start off now. We're going to catch up. Sunflower base. Okay, where the heck is that then? Alright, where's the Sunflower base? That's a repair station. Where's the Sunflower base at? Alright, where are you, Sunflower? Where the heck are you? Don't you two start up now. You already Build the water, you little clowns. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, I just right-clicked on it, so, okay. Okay, yeah, no, there it is, okay.
Roberto, hold your position. We have reached the minefield. Aye, aye, sir. In position. Until the sunflower deactivates the mines. Okay. Deactivation completed. You may head for the sunflower now. Affirmative. Stiletto. Copy that, patrol. Boy, oh boy, what a day to be on patrol. The company has built at least 50 stiletto class vessels. And this was the first. It's like the big granddaddy of them all. <laughs> You're a pilot's pilot. Have you ever served on a Stiletto-class Corvette? No, sir. We only have two light Corvettes in the sector. Huh, Captain? Sir, aren't you THE Marcus Cromwell? Feel free to come over when you're through with your duties. I'll have someone show you around. Thank you, sir. I'll do that, sir. Uh, sir, may I invite you for a drink in the canteen? I'd be honored to meet the great Marcus Cromwell in person. I mean, if you have time, sir. That is, I don't mean to impose, sir. It's just... With pleasure. I started as a fighter pilot myself. I have no idea. Sorry about that. Start and stop like that. I know I play... Stiletto! One of the mines didn't activate properly. I've marked it for you. Get the hell out of there! Calling Sunflower. Thanks for warning us. What's the latest news? All right. I've managed to deactivate it. Crisis averted. You can continue to the base. Be cool, people. Due to the events on Mars, the corporation introduced a global embargo against aerospace. But the sector remains calm, sir. A long sought class heavy corvette arrived at OSEC. The rockets won the spring championship on Earth. That's all. I see. Can you link me up with Colonel Finn? I'm requesting an encoded channel. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Well, that certainly didn't sound like hell. <laughs> I know, jokey to me. you made it here in one piece. We've been expecting you. That's good to know. Okay, what? Oh, okay, primary objectives. Boy, I just can't speak lately. Primary objectives. Reach the designated waypoint. Got you that. Own losses. Got you that. Okay, let's continue. I guess I'm going to have to put the music on or something here because it's not, uh, those transition periods just don't work. All right, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do here. Solar system, home system, humankind, gotcha. 
Why aren't there voices for this? We are approaching the position indicated by the probe. The Ronin should appear on our sensors at any moment. Now this is the part that I've uh, that I always tend to forget on how to do because it's pretty intricate, at least for my brain it is anyway. To choose the part. Sir, we detected an object. It may be the Ronin, but we have not identified it yet. Hmm. I better save. Okay, uh, you have to be aware of the strengths and abilities of the enemy. This is where recon helps. Besides, uh, or beside the detection of the enemy, it's also important to know whether the enemy can detect us or not. Okay, unknown or not. The first step is detecting the enemy. The detect object is unknown at first. You don't know what it is. It's only that something is there. Several factors influence the effectiveness of detection. Above all, it depends on the distance of the target and its working devices. Bluck has, has an influence on detection effectiveness as well. The closer your ship is to the target, the easier it is to detect. Because every device emits energy, it makes it easier to detect a ship of either working devices, blah, blah, blah. All right, so what's that say right there? Recon. The passive sensors are your basic equipment for ships most. Okay. The next step is to the location more information becomes available. Understood. We have detected a second object. The Ronin is not alone. Okay. The object has been verified as the Ronin. Put it on screen. Aye, aye, sir. ship has broadcast its ID. It appears to be the Kisaki freighter Bihamosu, the Ronin's sister ship. We're detecting a strange energy pattern. If it's a container tug, it's carrying something very unusual. Hmm. Okay. God, am I even up It can't be! Sir, this is no cargo freighter. Surprise, surprise. Something's happening. Its energy levels are rising exponentially. Our sensors are scrambled. Well, that's quite the uh, warp drive or whatever that is. Holy Castoli. Don't lose your head. Analyze it. It's a space drive, sir. It seems to be based on principles I don't even... Captain, this is impossible. We cannot... Uh, I, I mean, technology like this simply cannot exist. Well, it looks like someone forgot to tell the Kisaki that. Continue to pursue the Ronin. We have to know more about this. Cargo carrier Ronin, this is the Stiletto Military Patrol. Stop immediately. 
Stiletto, this is the Ronin. Keep your distance. This is private business. The Sector Earth Treaty formally prescribes the transportation of contraband. According to paragraph 28, clause C, we have the right to inspect your cargo bay. Stop immediately. It is an offense to obstruct an inspection. You have no right to inspect us. Any attempt to do so will be considered an act of piracy. Are you prepared to risk an armed conflict between our two corporations, Stiletto? Halt immediately or we will open fire. Sir, the Ronin is not slowing down. Should we give them a wake-up call? Okay, to attack a ship's hull, click to destroy hull command, F7. Okay, then right-click the enemy ship. The ship automatically selects its most suitable weapons, approaches the target, and opens fire. Alright, F1. To stop firing, set the behavior to focused and take away the current command by clicking auto. Oh, like I've got to remember all this crap. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Understood. Thank goodness you can pause the game. Change your minds. Prepare to receive the inspection team. We will not permit you to board. We'll blow your commando ferry out of the sky. Okay, well, we'll see, was, Ronan. That was just plain stupid. Stop, stop, we get in. Oh, yeah, if you send somebody over, we're gonna. Do it. It's like, come on, don't be such idiots, man. To me, I'd, I, I would just rip its engines apart and everything else. Provides the most detailed recon information available. This happens automatically. Sir, happens. the Ronin is equipped with a flak cannon. We cannot deploy commandos while it is active. Okay, support. I see a chemical weapons. Flak PL. Affirmative.
I have done it correctly. I think. Affirmative. Oh, okay, that's what I needed to do. Set it up as a target. Okay. See, it never told me that. Target device disabled. Understood. Yes, sir. Okay, what now? What do I do? What do I do? Shut door cruise? How do I do that? Target device disabled. Understood. What's F3 do? Aye, aye, sir. What do I do now? Target device disabled. Understood. Affirmative. Okay, well I disabled it. How come the mission is continuing forward here? Can I just destroy it? Destroy Hall? No, I don't want to destroy the Hall. Actually, the ship needs a lot of range weapons. Obviously, I'm not. 
Yes, sir. disable it, that's what I've done. Let's do pulls. Aye, aye, sir. Let's just beat the shit out of them. Let's beat the shit out of them. Target device disabled.
Target device disabled. Yeah, well, I'm totally gone. I want it so far gone. I want it gone. Oh my god. Like one back in the black pit. destroyed. The Ronin is deploying fighters. How many weapons has this damn freighter got? Disabled. Warning. Incoming enemy fighters. Warning. We are under attack. Yeah, well, how do I do this? Okay. Alright, so what do we got here? Approach. What about defend? Guard. Understood. Go. Sir, they're targeting our flak cannon. They are going to destroy it. I just released. Like Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Affirmative. We can now safely deploy our commandos. Holy crap, that wasn't giving me much information there. Yes, sir. Come back on board, boys. There they are. Commands can carry out special task aboard an enemy ship's team. The command will travel between the two ships aboard. Okay. All right. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, no, uh, that's not what I wanted. Evade. I don't want to attack in that ship. Affirmative. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Understood. No, I don't want you guys attacking, for goodness sakes. Affirmative. Let's see what I can do here. Affirmative. Yeah, I'm sending those guys. I'm sending that Commandos soon. dispatched. To Stiletto. Moving towards cargo area. Resistance is low. We've entered the cargo area. Modular building materials, two portable labs. Looking for the containers. Sir, I think we've hit the jackpot. What do you see, soldier? Aside from a cache of illegal weapons, no surprises there, they carry large amounts of highly unusual equipment. Far more than a research station would ever need. We've found containers made from an alloy I've never seen before. They seem to disperse energy rays. Our scans can't penetrate them. As far as I'm aware, no material can do that. Bring back everything you can. Enemy ship disabled. We've already collected samples, sir. Commando out. Our commandos are returning. Affirmative.
Mission complete, sir. Shall we depart? Permission granted. Let's head for the Sunflower. Copy that, sir. No, don't leave. I want to destroy the ship. This is where Sandbox would be beautiful. Alright, everybody. This is where this video is going to end. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.